So, great win on the weekend. How long did you give the group to celebrate and let the emotions out? It was a good win. Um, a lot of things that we spoke about the week before were able to implement in the game, which is really pleasing. Um, I think it's important to celebrate when you win. Um, so we let them go for a fair way after the game. Um, and hopefully they all enjoy their weekend because we, we don't want it to be a one-off thing. We want them to get used to that feeling. Um, so And this week's been a really positive week for us on the track. So hopefully they've bottled that and want to go again. And it was great to see so many families back in the, in the sheds there after the game as well and so many fans stuck around as well to celebrate. Is it good to see people getting around the team? Yeah, I think it's something that our club does really well. Um, invite the families into the shed after the game. Um, win, lose or draw, they're always there. So the numbers will, will continue to show up. So, uh, you know, an important time for our players to spend with their families, um, take in the win, enjoy that scenario. And um, as I said, hopefully it happens again. As you said, positive start to the week on the track. Do you feel like it will be a challenge getting back up after the emotions of that win, or do you feel like everyone's pretty pretty ready? No, I think I think they're ready to go, and we pretty much started our, um, you know, what the week looks like on Monday, and we did our review, and we quickly turned the focus to GWS this week, and what's expected and what's coming. So the girls should be switched on, and I think our two training sessions we've done so far this week tells me that they are and they're ready to go and they want that feeling again so we're looking forward to seeing what we deliver come Saturday. And from a playing group perspective how was it celebrating that win? Yeah um, we had a lot of fun it's been really positive at the club recently and um, yeah we, we were just glad that we could get over the line on the weekend for our skips 50th especially we were all really hungry for that so yeah super awesome. In a very physical game on Friday night how did you feel coming into those final 10 minutes of being so nail biting? Yeah, I think um, we just stuck to what we, we know we do well and um, we just wanted to, to fight for each other and we were all willing to put our body on the line for each other and be really selfless. So, um, yeah, it was just, we, we were just all willing to work for each other. And from the group, putting your lessons to be learned out of the win, obviously, how do you take that into your next game now against GWS? Yeah, we just want to keep our momentum going. Um, obviously, super positive still. Um, we just want to knuckle down at training and we know what we've got to do now to, to take over to the Giants and we just want to travel over there and, and get the win on the road. And has it been an advantage this week having the extra break? Obviously last week you had the four days, you thought maybe that could have been an advantage, you don't have to think about too many things. How's it been with the extra couple of days? Um, yeah, obviously we want to stick to a routine, so that's really important for us. But um, yeah, we, we know what we've got coming up and um, we just want to stick to what we know and, and what we do best and um, yeah, really just, just bring it all over to the Giants. And Michael, do you make any changes from what you did Friday night? Or? Would you? No. No. Okay. Yeah, we're going to talk about it um, this afternoon, but we thought we had a really even performance from everyone um, on, on Friday night, um, led by Lauren, because Lauren's our rising star winner of the week. So really pleasing to see Lauren grow as a player and, you know, ruck work, um, buying into her craft, um, marking the ball around the ground, following up at ground level. So well-deserved nomination. So well done, Wack. Um, but yeah, we're happy with what we delivered on the weekend so we'll, we won't be many changes if there's changes. And do you feel like it's a, it's a big moment for the group to realise that all those little things they've been doing come together for that win and now they can take that forward? Yeah I think it's important and that's sort of my message after the game to, to the girls on Friday was I want you to understand why we won the game and, and what we were working on during the week and what we focused on in our review. Um, and to be able to go out and deliver that, that's why we got the win. So um, that correlation piece between taking it from the class to the grass um, is really important for us. And it just shows that, you know, with a young group, we're learning and we're willing to learn and dig in and do the hard yards and things will start to turn for us. And I think I said that a couple of weeks. We keep sticking it things we've been working on, the wheel will turn. So the wheel's turn, it's just, can we keep it turning? And road wins, obviously a precious commodity in footy. Um, so how are you feeling about getting on another consolidation game, I guess? If you... Yeah, can't wait to get over there and, and take on GWS. We, were, we went over to Sydney last year against them and got it done. So i um, really looking forward to the challenge. But yeah, road wins are, are you know, bonding experience for, for everyone involved in the program. So um, we can't wait to get on the plane and, and see what we, we deliver come Saturday. And how's everyone pulled up? Everyone's feeling good? Yeah, everyone's feeling good. It's amazing when you win. There's not, not many girls sitting in the rehab room or seeing the physios. They're all up and about wanting to go again. So, yeah, we've full bill of health.